So hi everyone, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with Jean and Phil. And they came all the way from uh, almost the south. It's not really Arlington, 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 Virginia. Virginia. Yeah, and they do really cool things. She works with lots of inventions and stuff, which is really impressive. Uh, and so she, they went through the museum like amazingly. We, we, I think we extended the show by like 50 extra items because uh, they're both so curious. Uh, also pilots, so we do lots of really cool stuff. Mm. And skydiver. Mm, skydiver, and skydiver, not, skydiver, not pilot. pilot. Um, so now they have uh, one of these items that they're going to open up, and I do this like a 40-second street shell game, which I'm born and raised and remember, where they had uh, three shells, although we have four, and they, they put a quarter under one of them, and they mix them up like that, and you guess which one has the quarter under it, and you win something. The only difference here is I don't have three shells. There's no quarter under any of these boxes, and you win nothing. <laughs> so it's not really very much like a shell game, is it? <laughs> Except for one thing. I do mix them up like this. So this is me mixing up the packages. <laughs> Are you guys confused? <laughs> yes. Good, totally. because otherwise I would have to do this until next Christmas. <laughs> so, and today is Christmas, by the way. Woohoo! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Uh, so pick a package, any package. This package. This package. Excellent. And here oh, are your scalpels. <laughs> Just remember not to cut yourselves, each other, or the package, or me, or the package. <laughs> right. But I do have this. Uh, where is it? Where's my bleeder? <laughs> bleeder. Oh, well, there he is. I have this uh, late 1700s, early 1800s bleeder that would cut you an extra 12 times on top of that one time. <laughs> Which say, clearly would cure you of everything. Wouldn't get her started yeah. on medical devices. We'll be here another four hours. <laughs> yeah, and then, <laughs> and then I'll have to cure you, <laughs> and you pass out. Nurses wrapped in green wrap. Obviously Christmas. <laughs> really? Look at that. They eat some near Christmas. This person was very, very, very ecologically aware because this came wrapped newspaper. Which I will recycle. I'm very good Excellent. Excellent. Good thing. I recycled the pen. You got <gasps> that. Why do I oh find it easy goodness. to believe that Phil would open that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and for Christmas, it's perfect. That it is. Funny. Do you know the song? Slinky, slinky, such a wonderful toy. Slinky, slinky, it's good for a girl and a boy. It's good for a girl and a boy. <laughs> there it is, the original James Company, Slinky. And Phil, you will have the honor of slinking. Of slinking. I can't tell you how many times <laughs> we ran this thing down the stairs in our house when I was a kid. We had this long staircase. <laughs> And you know how they'll walk downstairs, yep. you know? <laughs> Hours of entertainment. That is so cool. You know? Oh my God, I love it. That is awesome. I'm so I proud of my first I, Slinky for the museum. I that haven't seen one of these since I was... <laughs> It's such a perfect thing to open on it Christmas, is. too. You're that is so Christmas. perfect. So cool. And you're a skydiver, so this thing would have dived. Yeah. <laughs> so there's an irony here in a skydiver opening a, a awesome. slinky. He used to okay. teach skydiving, and I went skydiving in high school. So that is that so is awesome. super cool. No, I can remember, I can <laughs> honestly remember walking that thing down the stairs more times than I can count. <laughs> That's fine. Watching All right. it go. So I would have, I opened the present and Weirdly enough, it is totally appropriate because it is the first book, Applied <gasps> Physiology oh God, by man. Overton, oh. and that's what I studied in school, and really? I teach anatomy and physiology. <laughs> that is hysterical. Oh my God, the irony is, un the, that is unbelievable. Isn't what it? year is that one from, by the way? This one is from... Uh, 1898 copyright. Wow. I'm not sure when the nice. printing date is, but the copyright is 1898. Is. Now I'll tell you the story that everyone's laughing that know that our fans and people with the speakeasies know. Uh, the first year I started doing this, it started because kids were in my building were like, whoa, it's like Christmas and Hanukkah every day. So I had the kids open one package with 250 skeleton keys. 
How cool is that, that for is kids very to cool. open? Mm. I was like, whoa, this is great. I gave each kid a skeleton key because it was so cool. But I thought if I give away the antiques, I'll have nothing. <laughs> but it's a great idea to have you guys open the antiques. Uh, mm. Then for a whole year, I noticed there was this bizarre pattern where the package picked the person. And it was like at least 80% of people picked up packages that were ironic or uncanny to their personality. And I was like, oh my, and I didn't know what to do. I was like, what do I do? This is so funny. So uh, eventually I realized I'm supposed to tell people. I was spooked. I wasn't telling. I realized I'm supposed to tell people. And you both fit perfectly with that. And this one I didn't know is, there's another book e there. yes, that there's two books. And this one's even, I don't know how to say better. But oh. just so so super cool. This one's called Radium. <gasps> the Radium book. This one's Whoa, called Radium. Whoa, that is like the holy grail of books. Yeah. These are the. This is another medical book, and you work with. Volume nine. It's a journal. The Journal of Radium, Volume nine, April to September, nineteen seventeen, published out of Pittsburgh, PA. A monthly journal devoted to the chemistry, physics, and therapeutics of radium and other radioactive substances. This is so cool. And let's uh, show it to the camera. How the cool is oh, that? Find interesting as well. Oh my god, this... That is so cool. That is beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Well, like I said, considering what she does, where she works, and what she does, <laughs> and what she teaches, that's amazing. This is that amazing is that so the package picked the person. Yeah, and I, like I said, it's amazing. been going on. 80% of people, at least, will open up a package that has to do with them. That is and then so cool. 10% it's opposites, and 10% it's random, we noticed. And then we noticed that one of the 10% gets split. 5% it flops. So if people are like a couple, often she'll open up his and he'll open up hers, and I've, and it, it, like literally someone will say, "Oh, she should have opened she up this," yours, and then she'll, "Oh, he should have opened up that." And it's like it's like the Reese's Pieces thing. Like, <laughs> you got my peanut butter and my chocolate. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, oh my god, that's so strange. That is so cool. That is that, really cool. That is really yeah, cool. Thank you for sharing that, that with us, Denny. That's just oh. really amazing. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for sharing this with us. Oh, welcome. This best is Christmas the best we've had in a very long time. <laughs> oh, me too. My physiology. You need a picture. I will. Um, I'm going to. Yes. Can I take a picture of her holding yeah. this book? Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And the radiology, but I you don't want to catch any no, radiology. No, I don't want any radiology. You don't but want the Marie Curie. Yeah, so we <laughs> understand. The radium girls. Hopefully, the, yeah, I have some of the, that stuff. Oh, from wow. I have the watches. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I got the watches, so and cool. our radium collection is pretty good. So we're going to say goodbye to the world. Bye, world! And Merry Christmas! Merry Happy Christmas. holidays! Woohoo!